Hi, Katya. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> It's you? early here. I can say that. <laughs> it is night and it is dark where I am. <laughs> what to uh, do? Quite I, the I, opposite. Yeah. No, you have a good day to look forward to, but I don't know where Sharat is. Uh, and I was told that Dennis is going to take another 10 minutes to join. And good evening, everyone. Oh, Katya, it's good evening here. So <laughs> Good <laughs> evening. Was... <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> it, it really, it, it is the same here. I've been really looking forward to this. The music, the song have been amazing. The song has been amazing. I really, okay. really enjoyed it. And I'm hoping that, you know, people stick around to hear a little bit of your wonderful voice. Yes, me too. Yes. Me too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so always I'm hoping for the best, right? <laughs> always, always. But I don't really know. Sharat, maybe you need to join from a phone, as I was saying. <laughs> that is the problem. But I will just send him one more request and we'll carry on chatting because... Now it says unable to join, so I will send one more request. So, Katya, how's it going there? You are in the U.S., right? In Los Angeles? I am. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm it's in the UAE. Hot, I'm in the desert, oh. so it's... Compared. So I can't really complain. <laughs> no. Yeah, right, no. right. <laughs> Uh, no. it's, but it's wonderful. Uh, we can still be part of the music scene. You know, there's still some concerts, mostly outdoor Um But but it's it's really nice. It seems like we all uh, have a rebirth or something like that. Oh, amazing! Yeah. Because it's not very easy, right, to be inspired in these times. Yeah, but but I think if anywhere, LA is the place where you can always be inspired. <laughs> like I uh, I just spoke with a friend about it. It's really yeah, it's really some somewhere some place where you can kind of. You don't have a lack of, of that. Yeah. Oh, amazing. And you're from Slovenia, right? That's what Charlotte told me. I am. Originally, I'm from Slovenia. Yeah. And I've been living in, in Los Angeles for like eight years. Okay. So, yeah. So did you miss not going back home during the pandemic? Or did you manage to make in a quick trip? I actually managed to go there for three months. So, oh, you did, excellent. So, yeah, I got my uh, vaccine of Europe. <laughs> Whatever works. Whatever, Whatever works, works, right? Yes, yes. yes. Um, so did you miss not going? Uh, I did. Oh, hello. I can see Sharon. Okay. Yeah. Now between... things are looking all right. What is it? Is it the phone or the laptop? It's my phone. I told you. I just wanted to say I told you so. That's why I asked. <laughs> I know. I know. I, know. I should have tried it. <laughs> no, I, I'm really glad to have you both here. And uh, we, will, we will carry on the conversation. Uh, Katya and I are already in the middle of it. But I just want to quickly introduce you guys. Sharat, of course, is an old friend of mine. Now, Katya, we had worked together years and years ago. I think uh, yeah. when, we had, when we had started working. Started working. And he's That's a violinist cool. and a composer. And uh, I don't understand anything. Aman, I don't know what you want to understand. This is just uh, about some lovely music you're going to have to listen to. So you don't really have to understand. Just, just listen to the music and the people who make music. <laughs> and Katya is a singer. She's a songwriter and composer. And they've come together for a wonderful song called No Passport Control, which is absolutely lovely. And I think it's on Spotify. And um, Sharath, where else can they listen to it? It's on, it's on all platforms, iTunes, Apple Music, uh, Ghana.com. You know, there are about all these major di digital platforms, including Amazon Music, everywhere. So the digital release happened uh, on uh, last, uh, last month, 29th of June. And since then, we've just been, you know, as a team, we've just been promoting the album, sending it to people. So that, you know, it's a lot of uh, the album and the song, you know. So... Here we are talking about no passport control, right? <laughs> so, and that's I uh, and a then passport. Uh, passport. yeah, I know passports are packed. Yeah. You know, the other day so, my husband he took out day, he took he out the suitcases that have been lying in the storage. He's like it's taking too much space. We should put it into the other storage far away. I'm like, oh my god, suitcases! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, oh my god, it's been a year and a half. 
But uh, Katya, how was the experience for you? Uh, of the with, the, with the music, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> or the the traveling? How, how the travel. I'm very envious of the traveling, <laughs> so I don't want to know. <laughs> right. Uh, well, it was it was wonderful. I mean, Charlotte and Dennis are both beautiful people, beautiful souls that I'm just honored to work with, and you know, sharing uh, the vision of the world with without borders. It's it's easy, right? You can just dream about the most beautiful version of all of us, of humanity and the world yeah. itself, right? Yeah. It, it was it was wonderful. We had we had a great time. We talked a lot. <laughs> we were going back and forward on the phone, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> so basically, no, no, I, you know, yeah. just to, yeah. Please carry on. No, no. Shut up. Go ahead. So I mean, I have known Katya since I don't know how many years. I've been going to Slovenia since two thousand five. And, you know, yeah. to work with the beautiful brother, Igor Biscay, the famous guitar player, composer, jazz guitar player. He's like the jazz guru in Slovenia. Yeah. So since it's 2005. It's been 15 years, right? Yeah, like 15 20, years. Uh, no, 15, 15, 16 years. Yeah. 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 So Igor, and Igor, through Igor, I met these lovely people. I was uh, fortunate to play in his big band uh, way back in uh, Pangea and uh, then uh, the second Pangea, right? So where I met Katya. Yes, and, and that's then, where we uh, played together. Yeah. We played together in Slovenian music festivals. So, and then uh, we started making oh, music great. together in Slovenia. And then 2015, when I went for my summer tour to Europe, and that's when we, me, Katya, Igor, and today we call him Spatsi, the bass player in Slovenia, a beautiful friend, beautiful musician, so we did a couple of, you know, concerts together. And after that, Katya moved to Los Angeles. And then it so happened, I was... I had enough. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so she moved to Los Angeles. And then next following year, I went to LA. And then I met Dennis for the first time, introduced to me by another dear friend of mine. It's basically all international contacts, you know, joining the dots. Lovely. So I and then this show joining the dots anyway. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the tagline for my show anyway, so I love it. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. then we did some music together, and then Dennis and I came up with this idea of doing a song together because my album was getting ready, and I was short of one song. So I asked Dennis, let's do a song together. Why not? And then we started working on it, and then I called it No Passport Control, and then Katya was on my mind. She was living in Los Angeles. So I asked Katya, I sent her the melody and everything. In two days, she wrote the lyrics and everything. Oh. And then she recorded the uh, voice and then we added more uh, instruments. That's how, you know, over emails and exchanging files, we achieved this, uh, this song. Yeah. It's a so beautiful journey. So this journey started last year, is it? Before, it started before no. the pandemic, right? Before the pandemic. So the first draft of No Passport Control was created in April 2019. Right. And then, because, you know, we have to get drummers, you know, align all the musicians to do their parts. And some are in India, some are in Europe. Then I had to fly my dear friend Marco, who's a beautiful player, piano player from Slovenia, living in New York. So he flew to Los Angeles to record his piano parts and Dennis recorded him in East West Studios. That's where we recorded Katya's vocals. So the song was ready. Then I was like, the last song that was missing in the album is now ready. So I have to work on the other songs now. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so, so Katya, I mean, in a way you guys preempted where we are today, right? The, the thing of working across borders and the borders have suddenly come down so quickly. And everybody is, you know, on their laptops, on their iPads, and, you know, everything is online, the phone calls, the coordination, the Zoom calls. You guys right. ahead of your times, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there is no borders online, I guess, right? Oh, none. <laughs> We're all learning the hard way, but you guys learned it the nice way, right? True. Yeah. True. It was almost like uh, a prevision of what, pre where are we going, right? <laughs> oh, amazing. No, no. It, yeah, I'm telling you. You guys predicted it, <laughs> sadly. 
Fortune yeah. tellers. It's, it's also going to, fortune tellers, but I think it's also going to be the way going forward anyway, right? I mean, there's a lesson here for everybody. Well, that's the new normal for all of us. It is. It is. I completely is. agree. I haven't, I haven't gone back home <laughs> in a year and a half, and uh, I've had to promote my book online, which is really hard to do. But uh, yeah. congratulations on the book. Thank you. It was yeah. it came out yeah. in the height of the pandemic last year, Katya, and I haven't wow. gone back. As I said, to not sign even a single copy. So it's oh, not a nice yeah. to have your debut book out, but it is what it is. Right. And, Uh, so I, I, you know, the other thing. Uh, sorry, Katya, your 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 face, beautiful face, is getting blocked by all these people joining. But you know, once I upload the recording, it will disappear. But that doesn't mean we can't hear your lovely voice, which I would like to hear at some point. But uh, tell me, so where? When, I was talking to Katya as well about this, Sharad. Uh, inspiration. You know, it's been a bit dodgy for a lot of us, at least in the creative line. and i'm talking even from my own personal experience you know to write every week some weeks i've had to take a break so you know nothing i mean what is there to write it's the same thing that you see again and again there's more misery there is more death there is you know no light at the end of the tunnel but the creative line is come out a little bit differently hasn't it in in a sense the performing arts uh other of you uh, can kate, you kate you going to answer that Oh, I thought it's your turn. <laughs> it's de- it's definitely different now, right? Um Exactly. I, yeah. I I I know that many musicians had actually trouble, you know, going through that time because you have kind of routine uh living on the road or just playing every day and and then Absolutely. Yeah. yeah and and then everybody um kind of we were all forced to have a studio at home now which is a great side of pandemic i think you know we we are all able to to create at home now if we haven't had that before um and it's maybe more more communication more appreciation when you see somebody as well um mm-hmm. yeah I, it's all the worst things always bring the best uh lessons i would say we learn faster right yeah. so so it's the same for music uh, in this case i think um so I'm, i'm i'm it was funny you know you have a concert there's nobody <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's i know it's like, the, it's like the olympic games the opening ceremony today i mean you know everyone's know. performing in <laughs> that situation yeah there's, yeah there's no one watching right it's crazy yeah i i just spoke with someone who is part of a team on on olympics and you know they're going there having this experience it's going to be unique but they will not be able to watch their colleagues they will not be able to hang out you know it's it's kind of cutting off all the best parts of uh, you know yeah. social life Because but that whole yeah. adrenaline also comes with all that you know the the cheering and the clapping yeah, and excitement the, right the excitement it's i guess it's symbolic of the times we're in no it is we're going to mm. say few years few years uh, in few years we're going to say remember those times <laughs> probably i hope so i hope I so try. maybe maybe you guys can make a another song together on this <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly yeah. i mean we are so used to working online now yeah true true you know i mean yeah. this is yeah. the, the like like katya said i think the worst of times kind of bring out the best in us sometimes so it would be a wonderful that's song true. True. right but that's before i go that that's song that's what we are that's what we are hopeful you know yeah, for sure. because uh, the the times have changed and just now what you asked about you know musicians per se about their life i'm talking about so there all kinds of musicians are there they are you know musicians who are only performers so for them it's really really hard because you know they just depend on live concerts and then you know and then you know get earn, earn their bread and butter yeah so for them it's really really hard and i just pray that you know things get normal so that they can come back on stage and uh, because the online concerts are very limited to be honest the way we used to travel back you know before the pandemic was like you know you come home you put your bags then you know, after four days you're again out that kind of life yeah. is something which we are all missing 
So Katya, trick question. Is your morning voice better for singing or the evening? Because you know what's coming next. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how Sharit can play the violin along with you, but I think you know we'll we'll have to do it separately. We can. I I, I, so. I, I got. See, uh, Katya, Joe asked me to get the violin. So, uh, violin. Let's is give it here. a shot. So, so let's give it oh, a shot. Oh wow! Okay. Katya, you let's can do it. Let's have a beat jam. Come on, come on. You guys can do this. So, should we, we just do we the just chorus? Can? Sure. We just jam. Oh, we jam. Okay, we can always jam, right? That's not big. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Especially morning. It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, you know, you said you want to do morning practice. <laughs> morning practice. Yes, no. yes. No, 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 no. We get you again in the evening one day. How does it matter? We owe you. it to you. Yeah. We owe it to you. <laughs> you do now. You do. <laughs> we do now. So tell me, how long did it take for you all to get uh, pa no passport control out? Uh, so basically, uh, the construction of the song uh, took about uh, good eight to nine months. Okay. Reason being because we have this uh, in the song, the legendary drummer, Vinnie Coluta, the great. So it was, uh, it was uh, Dennis's idea that, you know, let's get uh, Vinnie on board. So the Vinnie was, you know, hard to find and get his dates. So he recorded when we uh, did the basic structure was in April, by the time Vinnie recorded was in August. And then we recorded guitars and bass. And so by December, the song was ready. Amazing, amazing. So what was the journey yeah. like for you, Katya? You know, the violin with it. Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, just working with Charlotte uh, on any creative process is it's a blessing, I think, you know. I, I feel like I think better, I, I, <laughs> I express myself better, and I, and I can share maybe that Eastern part of myself uh, through music, uh, through, through, through playing with Charlotte, you know, it's just... It's just amazing. Um, the easiest thing to do. Yeah, likewise. Likewise, you know, I mean, we have great vibe on stage and great beautiful understanding. And uh, there's a beautiful song we did. Uh, in, uh, and the live concert recording is available on Katya's SoundCloud page. We did uh, a version of uh, Come, Come Together. together. Right. Oh, can we hear it? Can I hear it? Come on, guys. Okay, <laughs> now, Katya, you can now, sing. Now I'll follow you. Now she's cleaned her voice. That was right. <laughs> Look, almost, almost. Give me two more hours. No, just kidding. <laughs> I hear you though, don't worry. Right. I, know. <laughs> Come uh, on. I wish I would. Yeah, how does it start? I just know that. Here comes the thing. Yeah, I don't remember the lyrics. It's terrible. It's been a while. Oh, just, just, just jam. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I I will follow you, Shadow. <laughs> Come together right now. 
right here. Yeah. <laughs> I think we give them the shout out. It's a lot. <laughs> you totally surprised me with this. If I knew I need to sing, I would. I might wake up an hour later. I mean, earlier. <laughs> now yeah, you know, know for next time. <laughs> it's it's always great fun to jam with you, Katya. Likewise, I can't wait. I hope you are, you'll be able to come to LA soon. Yeah, or, and you have to come to I India so. and perform. And you have to come wait. to India and perform. Katya, you've never wait. come to India. Not yet. We were trying to set that up, but then pandemic kind of wow. took care of it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, and before you absolutely that, must I was when here. this is over. And please invite yeah. me for your concert. Do not forget, guys. Okay, you are. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Already, you, you have to know. watch us. You have to come to the concert. Exactly. I will. I will. I don't think Dennis has joined, right? I haven't seen. Um, I'm just texting him. He should be there. Texting. He said. He... Anyway, we can carry on talking. But you know, Katya Sharat and I, when we met for our first job, it was the best job anybody could dream of. But the same yeah. thing that once yeah. you finished working, there were jam sessions like this every oh, other exactly. evening, wow. right, Sharat? And these guys I were know. making music for the programs that we were airing. So all the music was all in the house. time. It was, it was just amazing. great wow. atmosphere That's in that TV nice. company. Yes. Yes, it was wow. the best, you know. I always say it's the best place to start a journey because you know, once when you when you start on that journey, when you're looking for a job, and you know, everyone's just come out, everyone's young, you've got dreams in your eyes, and no money in your pocket, you yeah. know. And the the kind of people that you meet right at the beginning are the ones who carry you through. And you know, this lot of my fans, I may not speak to them that often, but when I speak to them, they're always there because I think we started that journey together. Everybody's gone their way, but. You know, we mm. never forget that journey we joined in all those never. jamming sessions, Sharad, and yeah. you know this fantastic Absolutely. time we wow. had. Great time. Was I mean, I personally day? learned so much. Yeah. yeah, we all learned so much working in TVI. So much. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. I think it was it was less of a TV channel. It was more like a life learning <laughs> lesson for all of us young ones. You know, <laughs> it was amazing. But Katya, how did your musical journey start? kind of early <laughs> when I oh, nice. uh, I think I recorded the first song when I was seven uh, because my uncle had a studio and my mom was like she's singing all the time like do you want to hear her <laughs> so so I, I went to the studio and I sang, sang and he cried <laughs> and I'm like it's everything okay <laughs> so that's <laughs> it kind of started uh, and then I was going going to sing in different festivals all over the Europe. Uh, and it was, you know, I got hooked. I got hooked. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that was it. Yeah. That, that was it. And I mean, I, then in maybe next seven, eight years, I released my first album, like with songs for children, you know. <laughs> um, you would, then, I would love to hear that, yeah. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. This is your day. You know? I this see. It. <laughs> but it's not no today. Right? <laughs> I, I will send you the recordings, Shadow. <laughs> Please do, darling. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, it's it was it was quite interesting. You know, I would go around uh, with like a big uh, speaker that I, I had it on the wheels because it was super heavy and little component with the city player. So I would put the instrumentals on uh, and I would press play and uh, I would entertain people you know singing my songs on different parties like I, I yeah. love doing it it was just a very very funny and interesting yeah, but, journey but to, to be young I'm telling you it's the best right you don't think it about is. anything you just do what you want to do yeah I know yeah. no it's expectations just joy right Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So Shara, tell me, in India especially, how tough is it to, you know, promote music in these times? Well, uh, it is tough in the sense, you know, uh, but also depends what kind of music you're doing. In the sense, you know, if you're in the mainstream, which is like so-called Bollywood music, you know, everybody's getting there. You know, young kids are making one song and overnight they're getting fame. 
but like people like us who've been doing just one world music kind of scene and who've been involved in you know different genres because my training is in hindustani classical indian classical you know by my grandfather i was trained as a classical musician but experimenting with people like katya and other musicians all over the world i've learned so much that my style of music making is completely different i can't make those big jack songs of course you know but then if you have stuff like you know and you see how these you know pop songs and their you know number of views and all of that so there are companies which are ready to invest in, in a musician knowing that okay he's going to be uh, a superstar next morning so for them it's easy for us very few people in india write about world, world music very few people there are like you know uh, traditional jazz music uh, uh, music critics in india who are writing all you know all uh, all kinds of st- stories about musicians who are doing you know uh, what do you call it uh, like uh, off the track music right. but uh, it is for uh, an independent artist it is hard to promote his music but thanks to uh, these you know platforms like spotify where you can actually create your profile artist profile and you can promote it you can send it to the right people because if i know this guy would like my album i would send it to him right. so that is the and these you know online platforms are very helpful because these days artists are themselves working hard to promote themselves hmm. okay fine and all the media coverage these days are all digital so it's all very easy now at the same time so uh, katya have you listened to any bollywood music Uh, if i what <laughs> sorry have you listened to any bollywood music any oh <laughs> uh in my free time not too much but I i'm glad they were, they, <laughs> i'm sorry but I'm sorry. i know i know the like the biggest stars were in slovenia in bled they they shoot it like the whole uh music video there and it was a big thing i don't know a few years ago so mm-hmm. uh right do you know that chat <laughs> yeah yeah. It's, yeah it's really yes, when you know. i used to go to slovenia i used to play you know some famous bollywood numbers of adi verman to igor kate and all these guys oh really like those and classics then, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sharat i don't think dennis is going to be joining what's his scene i think we're pretty much i just sent him a text that looks like we're going to be missing you it's already yeah. 9:30 right yeah ah he's texting just to say yes but i want to tell you katya that i'm warning you before i will not let you go till you uh, give me a couple of lines from this beautiful your no passport control i have oh. cleared your throat many times over by now okay okay okay, okay. and you can <clears throat> a little bit more until the <laughs> correct and till, till we you know so let I me think... know sharat but tell yeah. me while while sharat is figuring this out do you think like for the new generation as we're talking about how the musical has gone into this entire digital ah, then is now and uh, do you think music is, you know the way music is being is coming out now is totally different from when you guys started it is totally different and it's it's different in a way that now all the music it's available to you and one at one place yeah. right yeah uh but you really need to know I what you're s- looking for mhm okay um you know before you you had kind of quality music on the radio uh, or you would record it on a cassette yeah yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, make tape yeah but they kind of did that for you people who were who had knowledge uh, about music they chose music for you and you didn't just get anything in your ear i feel now those days especially with online you are able to discover what you like if you take your time but as well you get everything so you got to be a little picky and maybe develop the taste sooner than better otherwise you know you you might get lost in the the mainstream and it's it's so much so much oh. so so much a good stuff so many beautiful so much i find it, i i yeah. i find such so much talent here as well you know in india with all these young kids uh, so amazing i well. think dennis is trying to i think dennis is trying to join i know Can sir i me? sent him i have sent him an invite i will send another one 
to him. I did send one. This is called in the nick of time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you are in London? No, I am in the UAE right now. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah. So we are all in <laughs> very many different parts of the world. Yeah. And uh, yeah, been here trying to get home since last year. Yeah. Back to Delhi. It's been hard. Oh, very yeah. hard. That's yeah. not. Mm. Yeah. And this morning. Just... And also, Katya, she's a great badminton player. We play some. Oh, really? We really? used to. Oh, my God. Yeah. We, did, we did. We did. I love did. it. Really? <laughs> yes. yes. Now, now my daughter is about ready to beat me. But yes, uh, Shayat <laughs> and I, we played a lot. Shayat, I will have to send once again because I don't think that invite us. Maybe he can send me an invite then. Yes, so yeah, badminton was another thing. We lived in the same colony and we worked in the same office. Okay. Yeah, yeah so I would always take a lift from him. Uh, you know, who had the money to pay on his motorbike. Uh, you didn't really have the money, right, to get. So you're, you're saving every little yeah, penny. Great and then time. Yes. Well, a wonderful time, wonderful. And then we would play badminton in the evenings. When, you know, we could get a place because there was just the one court and all the adults were playing and we were like these young ones. They would always boo out, so. But wow. that was good times and it keeps us going. And that love for my badminton is still strong, but the body isn't. Yeah, yeah, same here. You know, <laughs> badminton and violin for me. Of course yeah. you can still do it. It's great. I'm I, sure. I think he can. I think he can. I'm a bit huffing and puffing. My daughter's like, I think I can beat you now. I don't want to tell her yeah. I think you're right. I'm telling her no. <laughs> but, In fact, yeah. this lockdown actually helped me to play a little more. Yeah. Yeah. No work in our place, but uh, yes. Sharat, what's uh, happening? Do you want to tell him to send uh, he's, you he's saying I can, I, He's saying I can see you, but don't see an invite. I've sent. It is a Dennis Drip band, right? That's his idea. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dennis Drip yeah, band, yeah. correct. I sent it, unable to join. So if you can tell him I will send a, to send me a request instead. Just join again. And as okay. soon as he joins, he will get the option to send a request. Okay. Katya, you want to go get some coffee? I have coffee. I see some of my friends are joining. Hello to Slovenia. <laughs> <laughs> what time would it be there? Oh, 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 sorry. So it's nine hours difference from here. It's all a mess, right? <laughs> Who wants to do the math here? Between uh, now and I know. Three. <laughs> What's the time now? Nine is here. So I think it's around... Oh... Uh, Terrible. 6 p.m. Something like that. So 6 p.m. in Slovenia. 8 p.m. in the UAE. 9.30 p.m. in India. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you are at about 8? 8.30? Yeah. Katya? I think it's almost 9. I don't know. Oh, see? Should be right. We carried you through. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, so what's next for you guys now? Next for us... Uh... Uh, a lot of concerts. Yes, indeed. I can't, I can't wait to go to some myself. So uh, yours right. will be the first, right. guys. If you make it, if you make it yeah. to like a mid country. Exactly. The moment flights open, I'm gonna go to LA or via Slovenia. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can go via first. Abu Dhabi. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, Abu Dhabi. Two stops. So Abu Dhabi, because Abu Dhabi to the U.S. is the direct flight. I mean, you can do your immigration in, in yeah, Abu yeah. Dhabi, right? In Abu Dhabi, oh. yeah. To, for, for U.S., yes. And that, that's just the added incentive. But yes, I don't think this is happening. What do we do? I have uh, sent many invites to join. I will send one more. It's strange. Because uh, I've, I've done a lot of uh, four people shows before so I don't understand why this is not coming through hmm. okay so do you guys want to sing some before Dennis no. joins and... <laughs> that is a very exciting <laughs> panel I have right there very very exciting very encouraging for the host <laughs> oh my goodness me I've got to practice my skills a little bit yeah. more than <laughs> 
I'm just kidding. Oh my I haven't God. I haven't got much sleep. Uh, I'm like a night owl, you know. So I usually go to sleep around four, five. Come on, so I the t- music. I'm, we can't let you go without the song. Itself. Yeah, it's, so come on. Yeah, I'm gonna sing it the it. most. The most um, important part of the song. Is that okay? Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Everywhere we go, now our souls are whole. No passport control. Right? Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I hope that will do. <laughs> that will do. It was, it was gorgeous. I mean, <laughs> your song is lovely. You, your voice is Thank absolutely you. magnetic, really, Katya. So, you know, you can. The thing Katya is, is gorgeous. Your, yeah, you, you can keep listening to you. It's uh, it's your problem. <laughs> not it's ours. my problem. <laughs> yes, not ours. Thank you. Right. You're very sweet. Yeah. No. Wow. So, Sharat, what should we do now? Uh, so, Dennis was on his laptop. Now he's coming on his phone. Should ah. be there uh-huh. anyway. Ah. Now, uh-huh. what should we say? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. So, yeah. So, more music coming up, hopefully. Hopefully, things even up a little bit for all of us. But I think this yeah. year is still looking a bit of a toughie, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what yeah, else just are you waiting, doing? Waiting, waiting. What else are you both doing in those times now that uh, our regular lives are kind of cut off? I know. So we so, have been working from home for a while in terms of writing. Okay. Yeah. So I continue to write. I write every. I write a column every week for a newspaper. She's and, written a beautiful yeah. book. On parenting. Yeah, so I saw, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, well, it's not really parenting, Sharad, because uh, I insist on saying it's not a parenting book. It's actually an investigative book, Katya, on yeah, yeah. God, Dennis, on, on what's going on with children, you know, behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. The kind like of mental cult- state. Mental health, depression, mental health. Uh, mm-hmm. drugs, that kind of culture in India, mm-hmm. where... Uh, oh, oh. Hi, Dennis. Hi, Hi Dennis. Dennis. I'm here. Hi, Hello Dennis. there. It's not a parenting book. It's actually an investigative book, Katya, on, yeah. on, yeah. God, on, yeah. on what's going on with children, you know, behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. The kind like of... Like, so what, that is my voice echoing. Hello. Good morning, yeah. Dennis. <laughs> Hi there. Yeah, I just turned off the computer, so this should work much better now. Good it's morning. A it's a pleasure. Good to morning, have you. I'm, I'm sorry for being late. There's been a, a crazy morning already for me, so um, it was very busy, and I was on a call to Spain, and so. Uh, but I'm here, and it's so nice to join you. It is. It is wonderful yeah. to have you. It's my pleasure to have you, Dennis. Uh, Katya is already wide awake. Uh, we have made her <laughs> wide awake now. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you, Dennis. So, so Dennis, tell us about brother. your journey. It, it, I have spoken to both of them, and I want to know from you, uh, you know, how did you uh, get involved with this project? So, well, this is great, because uh, uh, Sharat and I were introduced by a mutual friend many years ago, and then I had the pleasure of spending some time with him when he came to Los Angeles for a visit. And actually, Sharat introduced me to Katya. So, um, so that's the the circle there. Um, Sharat was getting ready to do uh, a record and uh, looking for a label. And uh, so I introduced him to um, to a label that I have a relationship with. I have several uh, albums out on uh, Perseverance Records. And so I introduced Sharat to my friend Robin, who runs the label. And um, uh, so they uh, they hit it off. Things went really well, and then Sharad and Robin said, "Well, I should write a piece for the uh, for the record," and I said, "That would be great. I'd love to." So I wanted to think of something that would be really fitting, and so I just had this kind of German of of an idea, and it was based on kind of a, a an amalgamation of different influences. Um, there was a big band in Los Angeles many years ago, the Don Ellis Orchestra, uh, mm-hmm. that probably nobody knows about any longer, but it was a revolutionary big band. And uh, it uh, specialized in odd rhythms, uh, mostly rhythms uh, from India and Bulgaria. And so we played uh, uh, jazz, big band jazz, but in like, you know, 13-8 and, you know, 15 eights and all kinds of uh, odd odd meters. And Don also played with a quarter tone trumpet. He had a uh, trumpet with an extra valve and was able to play quarter tones. So um, it, we were heavily influenced by Indian music. I'm kind of digressing, but it's easier how what led to uh, my interest in writing a piece for Sharat. 
And um, that interest led to uh, to a school here in Los Angeles that was, um, Ravi Shankar had a school for a while here. Um, and many of us in Don Ellis' band studied with um, with both with Ravi Shankar and Ali Akbar Khan, so the, uh, the master tabla player from India. And uh, so it was um, a remarkable experience. And it gave us, uh, opened up uh, our, our, our eyes and ears and hearts to Indian music in a way that we could incorporate into Western music. And I think in some ways um, we were able to uh, have a real exchange um, with, uh, with Ravi and Ali Akbar Khan, you know, about Western music. We ended up talking many, many hours uh, with them about jazz and playing uh, Charlie Parker records. And uh, they played uh, music for us. It was a wonderful exchange. And it was something that sort of stuck with me for a long time. So um, I just kind of sat down at the keyboard and this little riff uh, started through my head uh, in, and it was like in, in 15-8, which is a, you know, a more traditional Indian type of rhythm. And I think okay. it just sort of subliminally came from, you know, I hadn't really thought of so those days for a long time. And so um, I just basically started to put that together and had a, a basic rhythm track. And I sent that off to Sharat and they did the, uh, the violin and the tabla in New Delhi. And then, um, and then uh, we sent it back. Uh, we sent it actually at that point off to, um, to various people. We sent it off to Scotland for our friend, Steve Foreman, who introduced us together to play mm -hmm. percussion on. And, um, and then that's about the point where we got Katya involved. Um, and at the time, I really hadn't initially envisioned this uh, as a as a vocal piece. But as soon as I heard Katya singing on it, I, it was just the right element to add. So we worked on some lyrics and uh, and then had uh, my friend um, Benny Cayuda play, uh, the famous American jazz drummer, play drums on it. So we added all these different elements together. So it was a real collaboration uh, between, you know, to me, it was the, the real essence of world music. And it started with just this little germ of an idea, which mm -hmm. is most mostly what music starts with, is just a, a little motif and a germ. And then we embellish it and we all add our things. So this was um, truly a wonderful collaboration where everybody brought their talents from all around the world. And, um, and because of, you know, our distances and because of the pandemic, you know, the only way to record this was really in all our different locations but I think uh, the friendships and the connections that we all had uh, made it feel like we're all in the same room. I don't think it um, it has almost a live feel to it. Yeah, yeah I was telling so, Katya and Sharath, you, you, you guys preempted where we are today, working from different parts of the world, you know, getting our act together. Yeah. Everybody's collaborating from, you know, different zones and different timings. And you guys reached there much before us. <laughs> you know, it was, uh, and it was sort of by necessity. And, but I think what happens is when people um, know each other really, really well, you can do that. You know, there, it's a challenge. We're used to making music together and being in the same room. And there's nothing that quite is a substitute for that. But I think that when uh, when there are friendships and there are bonds that people develop, then you're able to reach across, you know, borders and, and do all that. And so it's almost like we're in the same room together um, because we're certainly of the same heart together. So that, you know, that that's what uh, what counts. Absolutely. It so just takes a little bit journey? more patience. Sorry. <laughs> no, it yeah, it does. It does. For, it, it, I think it does for everything, right? I mean, I mean, if my ch children are learning online studies, ask me about patience. You can right. beat me and patience. <laughs> but um, right. so, Dennis, tell me, how was the journey? Did it, it? Did everything come out as for your expectations? I think actually better, really. You know, and uh, I didn't really have. Uh, expectations going in. I just uh, we I didn't really think um, of what I expected. You know, I started and I left um, uh, a lot of sort of holes in, in the original track that I sent to Sherrod because I wanted, um, you know, to be a real collaboration. So uh, it was more for me, not in a, uh, not of trying to achieve expectations, but a journey to see where this journey was going to take us. So, um, so I didn't have an expectation other than, than the journey itself. And um, so, um, so the end result uh, got us to a location um, that I hadn't envisioned. So to me, um, you know, I guess better than an expectation. So the, the, the journey really resulted in, in, uh, in, in winding up someplace that was, uh, to me, so, so just a real magical place. So, hmm. What was this yeah. place? Uh 
Sharath, in your mind? How do you, how do you, uh, Sharath and Katya, think of that place? So, um, I, you know, it's, you know, I'm not sure I, if, uh, you know, so I can say how I, I, I For me, you know, well, it's going to be, you know, all the borders of the world are opened, you know, those places. Hmm. So, no, you just a long walk time free. ago. Yes, I think that, uh, yeah. and where this came from, uh, the idea of no passport control, almost from a, a joke uh, that we had where I actually got um, uh, stuck, uh, you know, in, in some place with, uh, uh, because of an expired passport. And, um, and so I had trouble, you know, leaving, a, uh, leaving Germany at one point. So there became a joke about, you know, no passport control. But the truth is that um, a few years ago, I was working on a charity event and there had been... Um, when the very first Iraq war started, um, uh, a music school got bombed by accident in, um, in Iraq and it destroyed the school. And several of us worked with the um, Steinway company to provide instruments to uh, help rebuild the school in Iraq. And the idea was that it, this had nothing to do with politics. It had to do with, you know, with artists. And uh, our State Department was not exactly happy with us at the time. They um, were quite unhappy with me. And uh, there was a speech that I was giving and people from the State Department came and, and actually literally tried to censor our speech. And what it made me say, so, it, but it, it, what it did was it, um, it actually gave me the, the, the topic for the speech. And so I said, you know, that politicians have the job of, of drawing lines on a map. And these are artificial lines that we put uh, all across, you know, the country and we draw borders. And, uh, and they separate people. And they separate people oftentimes who have similar cultures, but, and then they make, may they make us different. And so the job of the artist is to get our erasers out and erase those lines, you know, and and join people together. And the, to me, the only hope of our world is if we can someday have a world that, that that's one world, it's one people, has no borders. We should be citizens of planet Earth, uh, and uh, and we shouldn't even be contemplating leaving uh, mm -hmm. leaving our planet and looking for other worlds until we can unify this world. And so to me, the job, of, that's a job of the artist is to do exactly that, is erase those borders. So the song, in a very subtle way, was about that. And I think, um, you know, Katya's opening line, you know, uh, you know, is, you know, um, you know, talking about a place in the Milky Way. The space, the, yeah. Yeah, you know, is the idea that we can that we can actually our minds can make us, you know, travel to places that we couldn't go to. And one of those places is, is the future and it's a world without borders. Yeah, to me, to answer yeah. your question is actually collect, collective consciousness, right? That's that place. That's that place without yeah. borders. And, and, you know, we forgot to play. We forgot to explore. We are, we get comfortable and... You know, the unknown is where we are growing and where we are playful as we are when we were kids and we are pure and we don't have expectations or judgment or, you know. So I think, I think that's, that's where we are headed and yes, no, it's, 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 the song it's is about. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's yeah. just so much of, you know, tumult going on in the world today. Dennis, is that something you would consider even now? Places like, you know, Afghanistan, Lebanon, all these places, you know, would you consider getting together, helping children in these kind of devastated places at any point? Well, absolutely. And that's what we should be using music for. Um, one of the things I do here in this country is um, we work with organizations um, who provide music therapy for children with autism and Down syndrome. And it should be a platform for educating children. So music, you know, it should be part of every child's life. And and we should be using the power of music. We should be using the monetary power to eradicate hunger and and to eradicate uh, illiteracy and to, as a tool. And, you know, musicians have, for 
for time time memorial have used uh, music as a as a tool for communication and uh, it's a natural thing you know and children do this best i mean children have a natural affinity they they want to sing they want to play music i mean every child has a natural gift inside of them for music and we unlearn that i think when, you know the said we we we've forgotten how to play we've forgotten how to be children and uh, so I think that you know one of the things I would love to see is uh, this song become a, a platform for that to, to to do that to see what we can do to to help you know help you unite children and understand that you know I'm here in Los Angeles, but um uh but a, a child in Africa who's going hungry should be just as much my concern as a child next door to me you know it's like you know and so we should be doing that. And I'm I'm hoping that we can do more of these, and and we can start to have a theme that we can build about you know about you know unifying cultures and yeah, and all yeah. that. I hope so as well. That's that's beautiful purpose. I, yes, yes. Have. I, I I hope so. I think that is really then it's very beautifully yes, said because honestly that is really the way forward, which I think a lot of people don't really realize that it, it comes down to very simple and basic things at the end of the day. And I think some, somewhere around the lines of the countries, people complicate things a little bit. Uh, but um, before right. I let you all go, um, I want final wor word from all of you. And I want to know what, what's coming next for each one of you. What is your big learning been through this year of you know, isolation, year of being away from people, from friends, being stuck inside. So the thoughts, the process, what is our big learning being? Everyone's kind of come out a little bit differently. Right. right. I'm Any definitely, one of you? I'm, anyway. I, yeah. Ladies first, right? Go, Katya. <laughs> Go. <laughs> uh, I, I definitely taught myself how to just be with myself. Um, yeah. You know, I, I was, I, I started doing things that I didn't take time for them before. I was, you know, being more uh, calm. I was reading more. I was meditating more. I was just being with myself. And I, I learned how to observe things uh, within myself better. So it was more of a spiritual journey for me um, than anything else. Yeah. Yes. No, I've, I've got a little bit into that whole trying to calm down and take time out for yourself and focus and meditate a little bit. I don't know how, I, yeah. I, I think you've been more successful than me, Katya. Sounds like you. Yeah, yeah. uh, <laughs> or Dennis, whoever wants to go next. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was interesting. I, I used a lot of the time we had more time and in, in uh, you know to focus on things. I started working on a couple of music projects that I long wanted to to do, um, uh, blending uh, uh, some classical music and jazz. I began working on. Um, uh, uh, Stravinsky's Firebird Suite. And I've taken that uh, sort of dissected that, and I'm doing uh, a new version of that uh, for my jazz ensemble. So I took some time to do that, and uh, you know, so that was a and that was a discovery. You know, that was something a piece of music that I thought I knew and was an iconic piece of music that affected you know um, 20th century music very profoundly. So I wanted to take a look at that, and that's, uh, I used a lot of time for that. Um, we also have um, started a, a company uh, to service uh, royalties for performers, and um, so we launched that uh, at a very inopportune time with the pandemic. But but we worked on that, so I, I kept quite busy myself. I was I found I was just as busy as ever. But the isolation was clearly hard, and making music with friends like this was, to me was um, was you know a lesson to kind of rediscover uh, just the the joy of it, you know, without any purpose whatsoever except to make music and connect with my friends. Excellent. Would you guys be uh, coming together again soon, Dennis? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, I would mean, absolutely. Have a plan. Yeah. Oh yeah, we plan. have plans. Yeah. You know, uh, I've just built a, a, a brand new studio. It was interesting because even though during the pandemic, everybody was working separately, I began work on a uh, construction on a recording studio. It was really geared to have live music uh, at the studio, we had a, live, a large live room, because I, I am anticipating a time when all this is behind us and we're all in the same room making music again together. So my goal is to have, uh, we're all completed with that. We're ready to go. So as soon as everybody's, you know, 
safe to travel and be in the same area again. I'm hoping we can do the same sort of thing, but now do it with everybody in the same room. Yeah, it's a magical place. I I've seen it. It's a magical place. Oh really? Yeah. I, I have to be invited yeah. someday. Shut it. Your turn. So I mean, in these you know times, what I have learned. I mean, I was busy last year uh, working on the album because we signed the contract early last year and. just been working on the album and finishing the song and uh, so yeah i mean and the challenge that i took was we decided to make a music video of no passport control all right so that's when you know katya already shot her parts in los angeles and i was supposed to do my counterparts in india wherever so wherever i was going you know i was trying to connect with my friends filmmakers this childhood friend of mine satyan vanchu he's uh, directed the video and he came up with this idea that whatever shots we have we shoot little more so because of the music video work i had to go to himachal the himalayas twice yeah. to do the you know some you know snow yeah. uh, shots high uh, snow peaks and all of that we did i uh, was busy with the music uh, video thing and then the editing and then there was this you know planned the album release date so that uh, was decided and then i was working on the mixes and the mastering and exchanging notes with Dennis all the time you know and then basically the whole concentration was on the album right. so amazing yeah so it's, i mean it's, it's, uh, it's, work from home but yes it's music thank god thank god <laughs> i feel that too no it it, it it's beautiful sharad chandra shivasta violinist and composer katya you were fantastic i will force you to sing a little bit more next time singer songwriter and composer and of yeah, course and dennis it was a privilege to have you composer record producer for motion pictures and you're also conductor it was my absolute pleasure to have all three of you here today i i want you all to promise me one thing before you leave when you do a show together i will get the front seat ticket Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The VIP, yeah. The front thing doesn't work. I think it's the VIP. Thank you, Katya. Thank you, right Jyotna, for inviting all of us. It's been great Thank to you know you. talk about the our music and the song, everything. Yeah. No, I will. I will just upload this, and hopefully for YouTube when I edit it, I will try and put a little bit of your song because I would really like more and more people to listen to it. it it's just the the fusion, the coming together of global music, as Dennis said, is just yeah. fantastic. And, Thank you uh, for having you. us. No, not at all. Thank it was you. it was you lovely. Know. It was so lovely. nice to see all of you. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So nice. so nice. I'm so Have happy you day, could make guys. it, Dennis. <laughs> Thank you. I'm yeah. even late. I was very happy to, to join in. You know. Right. Okay. Yeah. Really? I was, okay. It was a tricky time. It was a tricky, tricky time. <laughs> so, we, managed. we managed. We managed. We managed. We that was brilliant. Now, Thank Katya, you. Now, you can go back to sleep. I. <laughs> no, no, I've got. So. I've, I've been up no. for. Um, now she's yeah, going to so much work to do now. She's going to compose some music now. She's totally motivated to go out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. Great. All right. Okay. Go and <laughs> palm trees. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Not so bad. Thank you. Much, Thank much you, love, guys. everybody. Evening. Thank you, Dennis, Katya, Sharad. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.